really bad spray, huh? This is a Cabianca for sure, mm -hmm. thousand percent. Big fat Medina tail, big thick rails, fuller, flat, with a bite on the bottom. Wow, it looks pretty sick though. It looks like something I would ride, for sure. Medina, Medina, Medina. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm right. Like how thick it is back here, how chunky it is. The round tail, Gabriel always rides round tails. The thickness, the, how the rails are thick and they're pretty flat, but then there's also like a little bit of like a bottom, like they go like almost square on the bottom. And all this is very flat, almost like a, almost looks like one of my mats I'd ride at home. I've tried them, yeah. Who haven't I tried? <laughs> it's got a ton of concave too. This thing will for sure slide out at back door. This thing actually feels kind of crazy, I think. Or at least it looks a little really fun. <laughs> I'm looking at this board. Chill out. Glenn Pang is one of the most sought out shapers on the North Shore come the Hawaiian winter season, known for building ultra reliable precision equipment. But those who know Glenn will tell you that he's just as interested in experimentation as he is with refinement, which explains the curious thumbtail prototype that he built for our mystery surfer. It was kind of a gamble doing this. Actually, this is the second set of boards we did. Yeah. The first set of boards, I just did like our normal high performance, good wave short board. And then I kind of was thinking about it, it's like, I don't know if that's, you know, good enough for a stab in the dark. I wanted to try and do something different. Um, I've been working on like a couple of different things with um, Kikoa Book also. So this is kind of like a fusion of what we've been doing. We kind of fused like a few different boards together. If you look at the outline, this looks different already. Like we have like a, a bump wing thumb tail, yeah. kind of a wide thumb tail. And then the um, concaves on the bottom are configured a little different. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm on the fourth episode of Jack Stab in the Dark to see if you made a terrible decision on tossing this board. Looks pretty sick to me, I'm gonna give it a whirl. From the way I watch Jack surfs, he looks like he likes really like twitchy boards, especially off the bottom, they look really twitchy and then loose off the top. Where I think this thing kind of just screams like stability and maybe stiffness, even though there is a lot of concave in the tail. Let you guys know how it goes. This thing's gonna fucking launch, I know that. <laughs> really? Yeah, it looks so airy. It looks like a fish, doesn't it? It's like made for liftoff. Hundred percent dead set that it was uh, Cabianca because it had a bit big, fat, chunky tail and uh, a lot of downline speed. But then I saw Jack in the water and he was like, "Is that the Pang?" And I was like, "What?" And I was like, "I think it's a Cabianca." And then he was trying to convince me it's a Pang. And then um, yeah, so either one of us is dead wrong or hundred percent right. So <laughs> I was actually really excited to ride it because it had like a nice fat tail width and thickness, which is like kind of what I like to ride at home. Over there on the waves in Hawaii were like, it felt like I couldn't really set my edge because maybe it was too thick. Um, it had like a lot of down the line speed, but it felt like it was kind of, it almost wanted to like send my turn straight. So when I would do a bottom turn, it felt like it was like kind of sending me to the shoulder. And then it was really hard to bring it back around. And then when I, the only way I would be able to bring it back around was to break my turns. So it was kind of like a weird thing. And then I was like, 
100% sold those at Cabianca. So I was like, how's Medina turn these things? So, <laughs> must be my little chicken legs. <laughs> but I think it's a pang because Jack knows what he's talking about. I 100% know that Jack made the right decision in taking that board out. It was not supposed to be in the final.